Wait, I thought we had an agreement. Loser buys dim sum tomorrow? <laughs> Look at you. Scowl like that for much longer and your face might stay that way. Hey now, don't be upset. How about this? You extend the invitation and I'll pay. Uh, no way, Gaming. You're always the one picking up the tab. I'm not trying to be a sore loser. I just didn't expect you to come from behind to win like that. <laughs> that was nothing. All in a day's work, friend. Perfect. Gaming is here. Sorry to interrupt, Gaming. We just spoke to a guy from the communications office who needs you to deliver some goods to Elon Wharf. Oh, that must have been Longjo. Looks like I've got work. Gotta go. Sure, go do your thing. Uh, let's have a rematch when you get back. I won't let you win so easily next time. <laughs> Alrighty, you can hand the goods over to me. Must have been heavy hauling them all this way. Let me take them off your hands. It wasn't that bad. It's just some kite making materials. Plus, we didn't have to walk very far. Kite making materials. I see, I see. Uh, I'm glad it wasn't too much trouble, Paimon. Still, I owe you one. Ah, and you must be the traveler. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. Huh? You know us? <laughs> there probably aren't many in Liyue who don't. I've heard quite a bit about you two. You're quite well known around these parts. Oh, and please excuse Longzhou if he forgot to thank you. Uh, take my thanks in his place. He's a good guy. He's just been super busy lately, running around from place to place. Don't be too hard on him, yeah? So, you here for Lantern Ride? Yep, it's always so lively this time of year. We were actually hoping we could tag along to Elon Wharf and have a look around. Perfect! We'll go together then. I'm good with directions, so just follow me. Trust me, I know my way around. We can exchange stories, tell jokes, or just chat along the way. Oh, and there are a couple of good places to eat along our route. We can stop and grab a bite when it's time. The ingredients are fresh, the portions are generous, and the prices won't break the bank. You can order anything, and I promise, you won't be disappointed. Order anything? Hey, did you really have to call Paimon out like that in front of our new friend? <laughs> Don't worry, I understand. I joke around like that with my friends, too. It just shows how close you are. Do you need to pack anything up before we hit the road? I can wait. Nope, our things are always packed and ready. We're pretty much travel experts at this point. Oh, that's right. Then let's get going. If we run into any trouble, you can count on me to protect you. I am a guard, after all. One step at a time. Hang in there. Wait, and get behind me. I'll handle this. <sighs> Seems like we really can't go anywhere without running into treasure hoarders, can we? Yeah, it's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. Paimon was impressed by your moves back there. You seem like a real pro at your job. Oh, <laughs> that's not a skill I learned on the job. It's just a hobby. Have you ever heard of wushu dancing? Really? Wushu dancing is famous in Chenyu Vale. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. But I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue Opera. I'm also well aware that people in Li Yue Harbor aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch wushu dancing. So it's not something I do full time. Huh? You have two jobs? How do you have the energy to do all that? <laughs> it's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. Ah, Paimon gets it, so you must sleep a lot then. Not really. Just yesterday I stayed up all night playing cards. Oh. Uh... Let's go. The docks are just up ahead. Can rest. Ooh, Paimon's shoulders are so stiff. And 
and her stomach so empty. Sorry, sorry. Did I push the pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. Leo is just too hilly. Floating up and down so much, where's Paimon now? Oh, Paimon was finally satisfied and now her poor stomach's empty again. Aw, would you like some winter melon cake? I have some on me that I bought from a store. Yes, Paimon will take all you got. Uh, you might want to pace yourself there or... You'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. Paimon never gets too full. Just like... Oh, just like you apparently never get tired, no matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work. Ah, I see. Then here you go, Paimon. And for you, Traveler. Enjoy. And here's some for you too, Uncle Bosu. Don't think I forgot about you, my friend. I'll just set it to the side here for you. She was going to starve to death for a minute there. <laughs> that close of a call, huh? Ah, <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. You can buy them from all sorts of places, whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes with a slightly different flavor. If you like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop I bought them from. I'll just have to check when we get back. <laughs> oh, oh. All my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, I won't be offended. It's okay. Paimon is kind of enjoying listening to your chitter-chatter. Aw, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? <laughs> hey, Paimon could be in a good mood anytime she wants! <laughs> Bamboo for this. Woohoo! We're here! Don't forget your things and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft or you're in for a swim. Thanks for the ride, Uncle Bosu. You take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. Okay, follow me. This way is fastest. We'll have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. <laughs> 